bloodroot plant. See, as the, the shaft of the flower don't come right up through the one single leaf, and there's sometimes a second leaf here. The petals have fallen off the flower. It's kind of got a distinctive leaf and uh, flower stem appearance to it. And there's the uh, blood root. Right there. I'm going to use a bit of my precious water and rinse it off a bit. You can see where it uh, gets its blood root name. Especially when you cut it open, it's got pretty much a blood red sap almost. Oops, a little too close. There we go. You can see the shooting with the cell phone, so I'm making do. You can see the blood red uh, pulp and sap inside of there. And it has some additional properties. And this is like the uh, pretty white flower that you see popping up in the medium elevations. Like, oh, we're about 4,500 feet right now, so it gets up to maybe 5,000 feet, but it's mostly a mid range, you know, three to 4,000 foot uh, wildflower. One of the first ones you see in the spring. Real pretty. Cut it crosswise, and you can really see where it gets the, the name bloodroot plant. It's really a pretty uh, white wildflower. It's one of the earliest to come up in the spring. And this one, the flowers don't last long. This flower has already dropped off this one, but you can tell by its telltale leaves that it's a bloodroot and that uh, unique shaft that comes right up in the middle of the main leaf. And as you can see, it leaves a pretty good stain on your skin or anything else that you put it on.